Hey, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use text-to-speech, translation, and dictionary tools when taking a test from a student view in Performance Matters. And I'm starting uh, this test from the our website. Um, so you can see I'm on our website. I'm, I'm at Students and Student Tools. Our student tools are down here. I'm going to scroll down to the P's for Performance Matters. And this will open up um, my test. Now I've been in this test a couple times today, so you'll notice that it's paused. And um, if I had not been in, it would say um, not started. And then the action would be, of course, to start the test. But I am resuming the test in um, as it is in um, in process of being done. Okay, so now we see the tools and notification page. And so the tools that are available in this test just to everyone are flagged. So you know if there's a problem, you want to go back and check. Um, highlighter and a way to clear those highlighting. A choice eliminator for multi-select um, items and then a ruler. Up in the top right corner, we see an indicator of the connection status. If you're ever having a problem, with connection, check this first on the student's screen. Um, and then in this circle with our initials, we see the sign out button and then an accessibility pop up. This particular accessibility allows us to pick uh, whether or not we want black text on white background or white text on back, black background for our color contrast or if we want screen magnification. And there are three options, normal, medium, and large. Large is very large. Uh, so if a student doesn't need it, we really don't recommend using it because uh, if they're using a, a device with a small screen, it's very difficult to see the next and the submit button without scrolling way down and, and far to the right. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna hit the start button. And we're going to ignore that because it's just saying that I'm in progress. And that came up because I have been in this test so much in the last 30 minutes. Okay, so here's our first question. Um, again, we have our connectivity, we have our tools, so I could flag this problem. Um, I can turn the flag off. If I flag it, it will show up here in the questions. So I'm reminded to come back and um, check that problem. Um, there's a highlighter, so I can highlight part of the test. I can clear the highlights. Notice once I turn that highlighter on, it's on. So after you clear a highlight, you want to go back and turn the highlighter off. There's a ruler. You can uh, turn it, flip it, make it larger or smaller. Turn it around. There's line focus. This allows you to focus on a specific line of, of uh, text so that you can just read that. And then, of course, we have that same accessibility gearbox, but once we're inside the test, we have additional options. So we have our color contrast, we have our screen magnification, but now we have text to speech, which we're going to default on and leave on, uh, especially for math. And then line of focus. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off just to show you that you can turn things off. All right. Um, and then we have up here this floating bar, which is our translation text to speech and um, dictionary bar. All right, so what do these different pieces mean? So this button right here, uh, whenever we click this on and hover anywhere on the text, it will read it aloud. So just gonna show you that. If I unclick it, it'll stop. 
Um, this button is to uh, begin reading or speaking at the current section. I can stop that by clicking there in this box, or I could pause it. Not really sure the difference between pause and stop in this case. Um, and then I have a translation button. Notice that no words are selected. So there's two things going on here. One is I need to use the gear box to select the language that I'm going to translate into. So I want to translate from English into another language. All of these languages are possible, uh, except um, not all are um, verbal. Uh, the ones where there's a speaker, you can translate into sound. Um, so I'm going to select one that does sound and um, spelling, and so that's Arabic. Uh, but there are many, many, many languages you can see here. I'm going to hit save here. All right. And so um, now when we select a piece of text, and we go to um, translate it with the translation button. We are going to see it translated into Arabic here. And if we click on this button, it's going to be read in Arabic. So now we have it translated into um, our language. Arabic is what we chose. We can change that language anytime we want. Um, we also have dictionaries. So I'm going to highlight the word length. And notice when I click on the dictionary, now I get the word length and then a graphical description of that. And this won't um, this won't work for every single word, but it will work for many words. So notice this foot has different feet and it has a ruler for the word foot. I'm curious if I click on found, what will happen? Oh, lost and found. <laughs> That's great. All right. And then we also have a um, dictionary. So notice I'm on the word found and I have all the different examples of the definition and ways that it can be used. This button right here, the magnifying glass with an A, it enlarges the text when you read it aloud. So I'm gonna put my cursor back there, click on that, and then turn on the text to speech here. Now notice that is reading in English, even though we had said Arabic. So when you're using these, you're reading in English. And when you are um, using this, this button right here, you're reading in Arabic. So with the translation, it's not going to make that big picture up above, but it will for English. So that is how you um, access all of the translation and text-to-speech tools in Performance Matters. Um, it, this is the practice or training test. I highly recommend you play around with this. Um, it is very easy for you to get to. I'm going to sign out. Let me just show you how you get to that. So as I go into Performance Matters staff, which is on Manage Bookmarks, if I, as a teacher, want to practice all of those tools in preparation for helping my students, I would go into the test, select test center, type in the word training. Here's our, um, our training tools. And I'm going to use this square with the triangle in it to bring up the exact same experience that a student would see. Oops, I'm not signed in though, sorry. Uh, now I'm signed in. 
So now you're seeing the exact same thing that I showed you with the student. So you can use that test center training and this X or sorry, this box with the triangle in it so that you can practice this for when you model it with students. And you can assign the training test and have students practice those tools as well. We have a video on how to assign the training test on our website, assessment and research in the staff section of our website under performance matters. There are other things that you'd like to learn about, please give us a call. 4051 is the assessment and research phone number, or you can email Catherine Matthews. Thanks.